And they, uh, it was good and everything, but that whole man with the gun thing would have had a little more impact if he would have actually used his gun. Hmm. And now what we've been waiting for, ever since last Friday. Jason Le Fay was born on September 20th, 1945. His father was a Burmese yak herder named Dabe Yo-Yo. His mother, a Californian girl named Claire. My mother was from California, and the move for her from California to Burma was uh, rather interesting. She dressed me up really as like a, like a little girl. I wore um, little kind of like little suits, and my hair was grown sort of a little bit longer than usual. I looked a little bit like David Lee Roth by towards the end of the 80s. And um, I always had Beach, Ball, Beach Boy songs kind of constantly pumped in my head. And of course, my father really didn't see how that would really make me much of a man, you know, things like my little deuce scoop and all that. So it was difficult for my mother to adjust to the Burmese ways. As Jason grew up, the yak herding lifestyle became difficult. His relationship with his father became tense. When I was growing up, we lived in a sort of a mud hut, as it were. My father picked lice off of his back and ate it. A lot of times that was our meal. Um, we would groom each other, similar to the, uh, I believe, the apes or basic primates do. Uh, so that was interesting. As adolescence approached, Jason's relationship with his father grew distant. Sorry about all the baby pictures. No one cared enough about him to take pictures of him as a teenager. Well, we'll just skip right into his college days then. Oh dear. I was bitten in college by a vampire. I did contract vampirism. I mean, I mean, I got better. Wait a minute, who is that guy? The writers of this sketch suck. No, you suck. We're back. Skipping over his college days because they really weren't that interesting anyway, Jason decided to pursue his dream of becoming a teacher. Women and men alike loved him. But it wasn't for his lack of performance that ran Jason into trouble. Hi, Mr. Wade. I was wondering if I could uh, talk to you for a second about something. Um, it's sort of disturbing. Uh, I was just happened to be in the um, school today, and uh, I saw a bunch of teachers look at their mailboxes, and I noticed that they had this, uh, these things in the envelope, and they, looked, they appeared to be checks, and I noticed they were pretty excited about it, about the things that they were going to buy, and the fact that they had gotten the checks, and uh, I was just sort of wondering, since I'm, I'm working here too, why didn't I get one? Uh, I, I could really use that money. Uh, I would like to, you know, eat, have clothing, and, and basically just sort of survive. So, um, if there's anything you could do to help me out. Okay, listen. Jasper, Jason, is it? What? Okay. We don't know who you are. Okay. There's no record of you being employed in our district anywhere. There's nothing. Okay. And usually Mr. Watts handle these kind of things, but I'm going to handle this one. I think I speak for both of us. I think I speak for the whole staff. We're not sure why you come every day. I mean, I appreciate that for some reason, kids come to your class and, and they learn some things and, and you're there, but I can't pay you. We didn't hire you. I, I realize that, but... I don't even know who you are. For two weeks, I thought you were another student. Indeed, Jason's lack of certification proved to thrust him into hot water. And in terms of the, uh, the Wade thing, I mean, not, you know, not getting the paycheck, okay, you know, Admittedly, I'm you know I'm not certified. I don't have a piece of paper. I didn't go through the proper channels. You know I don't have the big fat diploma. You know on my uh, or certificate on my wall or anything. Mount, I guess his wall. rationale is I'm not an employee of DeWitt Public Schools, so therefore I'm not getting a paycheck. 
Despite his struggles with administration, Jason pressed on to do the work he was made for. As to what's in store for Jason's future, that is a tale yet to be told. Thank you for joining us in this, our story of a very, very silly little man named Jason. Oh, that, that LaFay, he's something. Well, that's it for our first show, uh, The Mike Kelly Show. I am Mike Kelly, and I'm Nate Knows. Mike Kelly Show, it's a good show. Mike, I was thinking about this whole uh, Mike Kelly Show. Yeah. You don't think that's a little arrogance? I mean, I have an idea. Just All right. listen to my idea. Say... Since we don't have a title for the show other than the Mike Kelly Show, and well, I don't see what's wrong with the Mike Kelly Show, okay. actually. Okay. Um, but say we just uh, draw a random name from a bin with everyone in the school's name in it. Draw a random name and just have the show called that, whatever. It is. Well, that is a good idea. Except if we did that, it wouldn't be the Mike Kelly Show anymore. Well, that's the point, though. Look, I think everyone's in favor. I'm just going to draw the name, okay? It's a miracle of television. We already have this bin designed and every name in the school in it. it. Took two seconds. The Phil Later Show, ladies and gentlemen. Next week it's Good. the Phil Later Good. Show. The Phil Later Show. Well, I'm Mike Kelly and this is Nate Knows, and I guess we'll see you next week on the Phil Later Show. And but if you'll excuse me now, homies, I have to be straight tripping for I left my wallet in El Segundo. And this is Nate Knows reminding you to give your dog a pound, provided his smack is fresh. Oh.